Hey guys, it's Heather from Kettle of a Plan, and today I am planning in my classic catch-all planner for the week of April 1st through the 7th. And I'm super excited to plan in this week. I am using pages from a, this was in a student planner last year. So I call this the student layout. It's also was the layout in the socialite planner, but it has seven boxes. And then the weekend looks a little bit different with a box on the bottom. So it's kind of a different layout, but I was using the, I used the pages from the student layout on my monthly and on the divider. So I'll actually show you guys, cause I did this live on Instagram. And so there's not a YouTube video on it, but I basically took the divider from the student planner and the currently page and I put it in here and then I'm going to use the weekly layout since this page is on the back of the monthly that way it just kind of flows plus I like I've been really loving the idea of Franken planning this year and so it's just really worked for me I'm going to be using the new color story sticker book color story is great because it basically takes aspects of a bunch of different planners and puts them into one sticker book so that maybe you don't have all of these planners but you at least have some stickers that match some of your favorite planners, which I love. And so I'm actually gonna be doing, using these stickers that match um, my monthly planner. These match a monthly planner that was at Joann's and they're super pretty. And I thought that the colors went really well with the colors that are on this page. And so that's what I'm gonna be using this week. So I'm actually gonna take this one and I'm gonna lay it right here to cover up that box in the corner, just cause I don't really need that box. And I'm gonna, lay that down and I'm going on a trip on Sunday so I think I'm going to turn this into a packing list I'll end up covering the to-do list and turn that into some kind of packing list and I really like this sticker that says be present so I wonder I was thinking about putting it here maybe like this that was my husband that just burped in the background, so if y'all could hear that. I don't know if you could hear it because he was pretty far away, but excuse him. All right. I kind of like that. So I love these florals that kind of match this as well, so I'm sure that I'll end up using that and this one as well. And this one. And these. So... I'm gonna go ahead and take, this is a roll of flight stickers, and I think I want to use a pink one. And our flight is Sunday night, so I think I'm just gonna lay this. Mm, I'll probably just go ahead and lay it in the bottom corner, like so. And then it might be cute take this floral sticker kind of lay it like that around the flight sticker that's cute okay then we have this super cute sticker that I'm thinking might be cute so basically one thing that with this layout, because it is a different layout where you don't have the three boxes. I basically, when I use this layout, I still use it as if it is the three boxes. I don't really use, I know that there's technically yellow and white boxes here, but I don't really use those. I just kind of use it as I normally would. I really like this one. So... I may put it maybe here. It is funny because normally in my normal spreads, I wouldn't put boxes so straight. But in this one, I am putting them straight. So that might be something that's a little bit different for me. We have this sticker, but I'm not exactly sure where I want to put it yet. These, I think this page for me, I think it was 
printed twice with the gold foil because it almost looks like 3D-ish. And it looks like those stickers are messed up, especially like that one. Um, so I don't know that I'll use... I'm pretty sure that page is printed wrong, which is kind of a bummer, but... Okay, I really love this box sticker. So I am going to kind of angle it off just a little bit. Technically, this sticker is for the monthly view. That's why it has that little notch right there. Um, but you can easily put a different sticker there. Like I could take this one that says Happy Plans and put that there. And it still looks cute. Okay, I really like this little sticker. I'm thinking I may put it... like that to bring that floral in over there. This checklist here kind of matches that happy plans right there. So I think I'm going to lay it maybe right here. Mm, I actually think I like it better down here. I do have this sticker that I want to include, but I'm not exactly sure where to include it. Do I put it here? I may not actually use it. I feel like it's, if I put it here, that's too many florals on this page. I may actually save it. I know it matches the florals that I'm using, but I just don't think it looks right. Okay, so I'm now gonna flip to the front of this book and just see if there's other stickers that might match that work, even if they don't match it perfectly. Like here is a cute little suitcase. I'm going to put it here because that's going to be my packing list. Okay, I really love these boxes. I think I'm going to put this here. I will say these boxes are kind of throwing me off a little bit. Not these boxes, but the boxes on the page. I don't think that's gonna go, so I'm gonna put that back. And I don't think that I really like this checklist sticker. I think I'm gonna peel it off. I feel a little bit like I'm looking at this spread and I'm like, what do I put? What do I put there? Here are some packing or some travel stickers.
Okay, I was gonna lay this here, but then it's gonna cover up part of those florals. And so then part of me is like, don't waste those florals. Don't let them just be covered up. But I'm not sure if I can peel it back up now that it's like on there pretty good. Okay, and then maybe this sticker. Maybe we could put it here. I don't know guys, I don't know. It's not my favorite spread. I'm struggling with this one. And that's okay, it's okay to struggle. But I just don't really like it. So. thinking that I may need to pause for a minute and kind of like regather my thoughts and then come back and finish this because I'm just not really sure where I want to take this spread next. I decided to pull out my travel book and see since we're traveling this week maybe it has some stickers that will just like speak to me. First off I really like these checklist stickers which I do feel like I need some checklist stickers. So I'm gonna put one there. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. I feel like that's too many boxes and so I'm actually gonna peel that up and instead I'm gonna put it here. I think one thing that's throwing me off with this spread, it always throws me off every time I do this, is I typically plan using two to three colors and whenever I bring in more than two to three colors, then it's like I get overwhelmed by all of the options and I don't know what to do. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do. So I feel like that's kind of happening to me right now. I feel like, you know, I have the pink, I have the yellow, I have the pink, I have the blue. And it's almost to the point where it's kind of super overwhelming me. Um... So I'm trying to like fight through that. So I'm also going to put another checklist right here because I like balance. Those are good flight stickers. This is vacation essentials. I almost want this to say cruising essentials but I don't really like that. I'm gonna save the cruise in for when we actually leave for the cruise. Okay, so here we have a sticker that says packing list. So I'm gonna take that Okay, so I covered up where it says to-do list with washi, and then I'm going to put packing list on top. That way I can get things packed. I think this is going to be a spread that I like a lot more once I have it filled in. I know last time, I've used this spread one other time, and it was definitely one that I liked a lot more at the end once it was filled in. So I'm trying to remind myself of that, that 
it'll be okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six days till the cruise or until we leave. Hotel check-in. Oh, that would have been cute as a packing list. But it wouldn't have matched. Oh well. Do like that now I think I'm gonna use these hexagons oh I like that stripe though can I include this somewhere without it being too boxy I don't think so I think if I put that anywhere it's gonna look really boxy I really love these, like where to next. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun planning next week, <laughs> the actual cruise week. Cause I like a lot of these. Okay, I'm gonna use these hexagon stickers as bullet points in a few spots. And then after that, I think we're just gonna call it. Sometimes you just have to call it with a spread and you can sometimes add in more like as your week goes on, as you're actually adding in the pin. Sometimes it's easier to plan for things when you're actually writing in your planner and you can add in more stickers then as needed. I have found that that is helpful sometimes to just when you're pre-decorating, just be like, okay, this is, this is a good base. This is a good place for me to start, but I'm not just going to keep adding stickers just to add stickers, I'm going to pause here and then add more as the week progresses. So it'll be interesting to see how I like this as the week goes on because I think I'm either going to love it or I'm going to hate it. Um, it's, it was, I was going to say it was fun to use this spread for a week, but I'm not really sure if that's the right word. <laughs> we will see if I like it after the pin. So be sure to follow me on Instagram so that you can see what this looks like after the pin. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.